Uh, so a lot of people will be laughing over the next three days uh, and so. several performances. Colleen Sutton, Rider Girl is right here. And for those who don't know, uh, what Fringe Festival was it that really blew up? Uh, Winnipeg Fringe Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really lucky. I, I didn't realize I, I'd applied for it, and I didn't realize how lucky I was that this is it's one of the it's the second largest Fringe Festival in Canada. Mm -hmm. Why does that city get out and support it? That's cool. I like that. It was just incredible. That's yeah, it's important. And it, you know, uh, it's interesting with the Fringe performance. It's usually a one-person performance, right? Very often, yeah, because it it, it's just so much easier to afford. Yeah, and there are restrictions <laughs> in terms of what you can do anyway. But yep. so it's a it's a one-woman show. It is. It's yep. you. It's me. And yep. it's all, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's about a rabid. Saskatchewan Rough Riders fan. It is, and how I became one. I mean, she has the earrings. The earrings are actually yeah. Rough Rider earrings. Rider pride. So, how did it happen? How did you become a fan? I went to a game. Aha! I went to step a game. one, everyone. Step one, yeah. <laughs> and you sit amongst that crowd, and, um, and it didn't take the first game because I was 16, and you know, we're all pretty stubborn and obstinate and right. set in our ways at 16. But uh, you sit in that crowd long enough, and uh, amongst those fans who are so passionate and so smart. Yeah. They know when to be quiet, they know when to be loud, and I sat next to the most amazing woman and uh, who had such a voice, you know, she spoke her mind. And uh, she, she, she taught me about football and, and essentially taught me about life. I like that, and, and that's the interesting part about it. This is from the show, is that right? Yeah, that's my poster. Yeah, that's your poster. So yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the interesting part about uh, Rider Girl, that uh, it's about the metaphor yeah. of being a fan and how that those those things are actually strengths in life. Absolutely. I mean, I don't want to bring up 2009. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm just bringing it up because that was does. truly hard. Uh, it was, people don't understand, like yeah. that was heartbreaking. And you know, I'm sure you've broken up with guys in your life that were not as big a deal. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that it's still, it's still painful to think about. Yeah, you know? it is. And it's part of the show. And it's amazing that I've done that to myself. Right. But uh, every time I hear that call, it's unbelievable. It's just like, <laughs> oh, it's please heart -wrenching. say it didn't happen. <laughs> so what's interesting is that you, something drove you to record your reactions during that. Game. Yeah, yeah. So here I am at the 09 Grey Cup. And uh, it's, I think at that time it was my 11th or 12th Grey Cup. And uh, I've always asked, been, been asked here in Ottawa, A, because I'm a woman, I think. Mm -hmm. And B, because I'm a CFL fan, because I, I think there's a, they use the term properly, I think, up in Team 1200. They're here, they're just dormant. Mm, but you go out and you feel alone. And I'm like, can you please put the game on? It's yeah. like, oh, there's a game? Yeah, there's a game. You know, and you're hoping to get it on. And people don't understand why you're a fan and you're right. a woman. So or people, are like, you go every year? Yes, I do. Well, I, I was filming the end of the game to say this is why. Yeah, I'm look, gonna, at, look I'm at this gonna, crowd. Look at this experience. And and then look at your face. And, you know, <laughs> a little, how many people have two different endings to a football game? Yeah, I know. Brutal. Brutal. The Alouettes, whatever. Anyway, well, thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So CFL's coming back, and I just want to say to people really quickly, this is massively popular, and it, it, it gets rave reviews no matter where it goes. Well, I'm just going to get those things out of the way uh, and make sure that you get in on this because you've yeah. added a matinee. We have, yeah. Well, ticket sales have been going so strong thanks to the, all the coverage and the tweeting and the yeah, CFL fans that are out there. So, yeah, we added, um, we added a 2 o'clock matinee on, matinee on Saturday. There's only about 30 tickets left for each night. Wow. So, so tonight, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So we decided to add a matinee. Who better to ask than Ryder Girl? I want to ask you a question, Colleen. For those of us who are excited to see CFL return to Ottawa, yes. there are, as a, I think there's a lot we could learn from Ryder fans specifically because there's um, something right about them. There is. <laughs> Absolutely. We're the best fans in the world for a reason. Yeah. That's and you've got to support it no matter what. Support the team. Support the team. You always support the ones you love. Through complaining and cheering. Absolutely. That's how it works. Absolutely. Check out Rider Girl. It's at uh, Arch Court Theatre tonight, tomorrow night, Saturday. The matinee's been added because it's pretty close to jammed, sold out. Very nice to meet you. You too. Thank Continue you so much. Continue success. Appreciate Go it. Go Riders. Like to see a big win, right? Go Riders. Regina. Absolutely. Regina this year. And imagine. Cup. It's, it's only, you couldn't write it better. I can. Kurt's really? going. Oh, yeah. He's Fantastic. freaking out. Fantastic. All right.